Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'll be having a series of videos on decoding, but this time let's first discuss parity check, which is one of the methods in coding theory that can detect and correct some errors in the code. So we have here um, definition or procedure in doing parity check. It says here, um, when we do parity check, we are to append a single bit and we have to know the, the definition or the difference between an odd parity and even parity. It says here as well that a bit string would be an odd parity if the number of ones is in, I mean, is, is an odd number. For example, or to apply that, say we have um, a bit string of 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 here. It says that we just have to count the number of ones. It happens that we have one, two, three, three number of ones, and three is an odd number. Therefore, this is an odd parity. You see, count the number of ones. If the number of one, ones happens to be an odd number, then it will be an odd parity. Otherwise, even parity. So another example could be um, a bit string of zero one one zero one one wherein the number of ones would be one two three four four number of ones and four is an even number therefore this would be an even parity there so difference of odd parity and even parity now how to do parity check um we just have to append one or zero to change the parity it says here that Appending 1 changes the parity while appending 0 retains the parity. So what if we want to make this bit to be an even parity instead of odd? So it says that we just have to append 1 to change the parity. Append, so meaning we just have to add that at last. So 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 an odd parity to make that even parity we just have to append one there so that this would become an even parity why because when we do, when we count this time number of ones it will now become two three four four number of ones and four is an even number easy so to change, append 1, to retain, append 0. So what if we are to make this, um, how many, I was the length of this bit? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 bits. So what if we want to have 7 bits and we want to retain the parity? So we just want this bit to still be an odd parity so it says we have to append zero to retain the parity so this would become one i mean zero one one zero one zero to retain the parity we just have to append zero meaning odd parity would stay as an odd parity so let's check the number of ones that would be one Mm, two, three. Three is an odd number, therefore this is still an odd parity. Okay, so that's how you um that's how you change parity. We just have to append one, and if you want to retain a parity, we just have to append zero. Okay, so let's apply that or those ideas in this example. We have an example here that suppose. Suppose all codes in a message should be sent with length 9 inclusive of the parity bit and the sender and the receiver agree that they should only um, have odd parity codes. So as, as, this, as, as mentioned earlier, um, parity check is used to detect and correct codes. So meaning um, one, of the th one of the things that would, would tell you that an, an error exists in a, me, in, a, in a message would be 
um, just by knowing the agreement. It says here, you have to receive or you have to have a nine length as the, I mean, nine is the length of the parity. So if you happen to receive only eight bits, so you would know right away that um, there's an error. So when you say that, you, ha you only have to have odd parity code. So when you when you receive an even parity, then you can detect that there's an error. So how to retrieve the, the correct message, how to correct the, the, the original message, you just have to append one or zero. So an example here would be a message, I love you. And um, using the ASCII binary codes, um, we have here, um, this codes the second column so we have to identify first each bit if it's I mean each each um, parity if it's odd or even so that we can we can um, we can append one or zero to to have the correct um, parity to be sent uh, for, for this message to be sent so we have here letter I. I happens to have um, happens to have zero one zero zero one zero zero one as its um, binary code under ASC double I. Um, it says here that it would on the third column it's labeled as an odd parity. So let's check if it's really an odd parity by counting the number of ones. So we have one, two, three. Three, three is an even, uh, odd number, sorry. So this is an odd parity. So checking um, letter L, L will have, so this is I. So L has to code zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. And we have one, two, three, still three, um, one. So if we use an odd number, so still an odd parity. So two, yeah. So since the sender and the receiver agreed to, to, to only have um, odd parity codes, and we have to have nine inclusive of the parity bit. So we we have to check first the length of the original code. It says here that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bits. So we are to make that nine, but by appending one or zero um, to have as well odd parity code. So what happens to letter I? I that has this code to make that nine one zero one zero zero one zero zero one to make that nine we have to append either one or zero but then this is already an odd parity so since we also have to have odd parity we have to append this time just zero one two three four five six seven eight nine we now have nine codes i mean nine bits and we have to have odd parity this is already odd parity so to retain the parity of odd we just have to append zero so same thing happens to letter L. Since its code is zero one zero zero one one zero zero, this is already an odd parity. So to retain this parity, we just have to append zero there. So how about let's have this time letter U. U has a code of zero one zero one zero one zero one. 
there. Letter U. It says here it's an even parity. Let's check. One, two, three, four. Definitely because we have four number of ones. Four is an even number, so this is an even parity. And since we want to have only odd parity and nine bits, so this code of zero one zero one zero one zero one um to make this odd we are to append one so that we now have one two three four five six seven eight nine um as the length inclusive of the one that we appended and um changing the parity from even to odd we just have to append one let's check one two three four five now we have an odd parity so that's the reason why we have this um, slide right here at the top that supposedly the message if you don't have an agreement supposedly the, the message should be the third column right here but to detect and correct some error um, when sending and receiving message so the agreement is that we have odd parity and nine is the length so instead of the third column as the as the um, original message we have to send the message I love you this time using ASC double I codes um, referring to the last column here wherein we have nine as the length and only odd parity codes for all the codes of the letter okay so if you still have some questions or, or confusions let me know please comment down below um i'd be more than willing to have more examples for you all right see you on my next video thank you guys